In this video, we're going to look at adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing negative numbers. Let's start off with multiplying and dividing. I'm going to build up some rules just here. What I'm going to have is a positive multiplied by a positive. That's going to give us a positive. We know that. If we have a negative multiplied by a negative, this will also be positive. If I have a positive multiplied by a negative, that's going to give me a negative number. If I have a negative multiplied by a positive, that will also give me a negative number. The same goes for division. If the signs are the same, the answer is going to be a positive number. If the signs are different, the answer will be negative. So this works for both multiplication and division. So let's go ahead and do a few. If we have now 2 multiplied by 3, we know that the answer is 6. Both of these are positive numbers. If we had negative 2 multiplied by 3, one of these is positive and one is negative, so the answer will have the same numeric value, but it will be negative. If I had now 2 multiplied by negative 3, this 2 would give us negative 6. Yet if I had negative 2 multiplied by negative 3, that would give me positive 6. We can see here now the signs are the same. This is the plus and plus, the positive and positive. This is the negative and negative, And they both end up giving us a positive number. Here we can see that 1 is negative, 1 is positive, And 1 here is positive, the other is negative. If we don't have a sign in front of it, we assume it to be positive. So if I looked now and I started with 8 divided now by, let's go for 4, that's going to give us 2. We have a positive and a positive. If I did negative 8 divided by positive 4, the same numeric value, yet the answer is going to be negative. I've got a negative and I've got a positive. If I did now 8 divided by negative 4, that's going to give us again a negative answer as we got a positive divided by a negative. Finally, two negatives, negative 8 divided by negative 4 is going to give me positive 2. So if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Let's move on to some rules for addition and subtraction. What we're going to do is look at a couple of examples. Let's say I have 2 plus 3. We know that both of these are positive numbers and the answer is going to be 5. If I have 2 plus negative 3, that is going to give me now negative 1. I'm adding a negative number, which means that the value is going to go down. So if I add a negative, the value is going to go down. The way I like to think about this, this is where we start on a number line. If the signs now are going to be different, we're moving to the left. So if you want to think of it that way, you can do. Or if you're adding a negative, you're simply now subtracting the number. So what I've done here, I've started at positive 2 on a number line. So if I put 2 on here, so here's positive 2. That's where I'm starting. These signs are different, so I'm going to move back and I move back by three places and that now gets me to negative one and that's my answer. If we've done two minus negative three, so I'm subtracting a negative number, this is going to increase the value. So I start at two on the number line but this time I'm going to add three. So that's going to take me to five. If we subtract a negative number it will increase the value. So writing this out now on here, if I subtract from now, if I do negative 1 subtracted away, that is going to increase the value. Let's do another one. Let's this time do minus 4 plus minus 3. So let's do that one, plus minus 3. I need to start at minus 4 on the number line. We're going to be subtracting 3 from this. And my answer is going to be now negative 7. So I can see now that this is getting more negative. If I had another one now and it was just negative 4 minus 3, 
this is exactly the same. It's saying that we're adding now our negative 3, which 2 would give me negative 7. So these two things are identical. If I had negative 1 minus now, we'll go for 4, then what we're going to end up with here now is negative 5. Yet if I had negative 1 and I subtracted from that negative 4, then we're going to end up adding it. We start at negative 1 on the number line, we add the 4 and we end up at 3. So adding and subtracting negative numbers. If you're adding a negative number, it will essentially decrease the value. If you're subtracting a negative number, it will increase the value. This is where we start on the number line. This is the operation and this is the number. So let's go ahead and do a couple of these. We're going to do 5, then we'll have plus negative 3. This is identical to saying 5 minus 3, which is going to give us 2. If I had negative 5 plus negative 3, we're going to start at negative 5, subtracting 3. This is going to give us negative 8. If I have negative 5 and I'm going to subtract now negative 1, we're going to increase the value so we're moving closer to 0 and that gives me negative 4. If I do 7 plus negative 6, I'm subtracting, that's going to give me 1. If I do 7 minus negative 3, we're going to be now adding and that will give us 10. So these are the rules we play by. With multiplication and division, if the signs are the same, we're going to have a positive number. If the signs are different, we're going to have a negative number. With addition and subtraction, if we're adding a negative number, it will decrease the value. If we're subtracting a negative number, it will increase the value. If you want to think about this now, let's say I uh, go out shopping and I start with uh, 500 pounds. If you want to get your head somewhere around this, and I spend 100 pounds on jeans, I spend uh, 200 pounds on trainers, and I spend 50 pounds on aftershave, let's say something along those lines. That leaves me now a total of 350 pounds spent, so I'd be left now, and let's just put this on. If I spent this, I would now have left a total of £150. My granny comes round and she says, I like the aftershave. I'm going to take that debt off you. So if she takes this away from me and I subtract now the minus 50, that means I'm going to end up with 200 quid instead of 150 because she has taken away the negative value. She's taken this debt off me and she is going to pay for it. So it's increased my 150 to 200 pounds. So if we subtract a negative number, it increases the value. So let's go ahead and work through a range of different questions and hopefully be able to quickly write down an answer. We're multiplying two negatives, so the answer is positive. The numeric values are easy to work out. We're starting at minus or negative eight and we're subtracting 12, so this is going to give me now negative 20. I'm starting at negative 6. I'm subtracting now a negative. So this is going to increase the value. And that will give me negative 1. I appreciate I'm going down rather than across with the, the letters. Um, neither here nor there. Two negatives, we're dividing. If the signs are the same, it's positive. 64 over 2 is 32. Negative 4, I'm adding another negative number, which is going to decrease the value, so we'll have negative 10. 24 over 2 is 12. We've got one negative, one positive. The signs are different, so the answer is going to be negative, and that's negative 12. I'm starting at negative 14, and I'm adding 8. I'm adding a positive number, so it's going to increase, so we're going to have negative 6. If you want to think about this, you over bank manager £14, you put £8 in, you only owe him £6. 4 subtract 12, we've got a positive number, we're taking another one away, so that's going to give us now negative 8. 
7 times by 2 is 14, 1 positive, 1 negative, so we get negative 14. Negative 9 plus 2, we're adding now a positive number, so we're going to increase the value, and that will give us negative 7. We're multiplying two negative numbers. 7 times 4 is 28. Two signs are the same, so it's positive. 18 divided by 9 is 2. One negative, one positive. That's going to give us negative 2. We start at negative 2. We're subtracting a negative number, which is going to increase the value. So we need to add 4 to negative 2, which will give me positive 2. If you want to look at it the other way around, this gives us a positive number, multiply by 2, and then subtract 2. 7 times by 8 is 56, 2 negatives, the answer will be positive, as the signs are the same. It's negative 12 outside, and it goes down by 3 degrees, it's now negative 15. I'm subtracting a positive number. We've got on this one now, we've got 3, subtract negative 2, we're increasing the value, that's going to give me positive 5. Negative 8, we're adding a negative number, so this is going to get more negative, so we've got now negative 12. On this one, again, we're adding a negative number, we start at negative 4, that's going to give us negative 6. This time we're starting at negative 3, but we're adding 4, so we're going to get positive 1. Two negatives, 21 divided by 3 is 7. The answer is going to be positive, so we can just write to 7. Negative 6 subtract 7 is going to give me negative 13. If it's negative 6 outside and it goes down by 7 degrees, it's now negative 13. Negative 7 minus negative 8. We've got these two signs now, which means we're going to be adding, and that's going to give me positive 1. Negative 16, subtract negative 8. We're going to be adding 8, so that will give me negative 8. If we just look here, 8 divided by negative 4, 1 positive, 1 negative. 8 divided by two, uh, 4 is 2, so this will give us negative 2. Before we leave, I think it's important just to clarify um, a common misconception. If we have now minus 4 to the power of 2, or minus 4 squared, this will give us minus 16. If we have minus 4 and we square this, this is going to give us positive 16. This is uh, often an error students make on a calculator. If we look at what this is saying now, the negative 4 squared is saying that we're going to square 4 first to get 16 and then multiply it by negative 1. And that gives us this answer. So when you put in negative 4 squared, you're going to get negative 16. Yet if you put negative 4 in the bracket and you square that, you're going to get positive 16. Another way of looking at negative 4 squared is now negative 4 multiplied by negative 4. We've got two negatives, so we're going to end up with a positive answer, and it's 16. What this is saying is it's negative 1 multiplied now by 4 multiplied by 4. So we get now minus 1 times by 16, and that gives us minus 16. So hopefully you can see the difference. This is especially important when you come on to uh, some quadratic equations if you're putting values in when you have an x squared term. So that's for multiplication, division, addition and subtraction of negative numbers.